So anyways, I know you guys want to see a full day of eating. We're in the new crib. I want to show you guys the new office. So this is what it's looking like right now. This wall is a work in progress, but what we've got here is my trophies, Natasia's trophies and medals. And then this is the computer setup, which is not much right now, I know. It's just a laptop and <laughs> pretty much a monitor, but I'm gonna work on that. And then Natasia's little setup here, same thing. It's just a laptop and a monitor, but I do wanna get a better PC now. What I need from you guys is a recommendation of some specs to build a PC from scratch so that I can get the best bang for my buck and have a good starter tower PC that I can game from and that I can stream with. So now we're gonna have our meal one and this is the cream of rice that I fell in love with when I tried the grindstone blends. It's the apple cinnamon flavor or the apple fritter, same thing. Just that this is the wellness bag so it doesn't have a flexing on it it's got it doesn't have a flex a steaming bowl of cream of rice so right here we've got 150 grams of the apple cinnamon grindstone blend so i eat like a bag of this a day so maybe more than a bag a day i try to do the plain one for post-workout and then have this one for my morning and evening because i really love this one i've also got right here 250 grams of extra lean ground beef, which I just put some of this real salt on. Almond butter as well, staple, so that's gonna go on here. Oh, the raspberries as well. So, what I like to do, I like to put my 100 grams of raspberries. I'll do that first, because then I'm gonna weigh this out. This is the most accurate way to weigh out your almond butter, so that's that's pretty much perfect. Of course, you can get it right on 15. And so let's try to do that. Okay. I'm starving, guys. I'm gonna eat this food. I'm gonna put these groceries away. Let's have a great day today. Time to train. So we got pre-workout, intra-workout, a scoop of the dust sour gummy, a scoop of the hype. Reloaded. Five grams of creatine for the intra workout. Ten grams of the EAAs. Ten grams. Fifty grams of carbs from cluster dextrin. What's up, guys? I feel like you guys enjoyed this last time, or maybe it was just me that enjoyed this. But this is gonna be our little pre-workout chat time as we drive to the gym. So, stocked up, I got my water here, and I got my pre-workout. So, just gonna have a little bit of water first. Okay, boys, let's go. I used the big brain today, and I, uh, I used the alien tape for the camera, <laughs> so it'll stay on the dashboard amazing and uh, also like there's a few things that I actually want to talk about too which is cool today and it says that we've got about 14 minutes on the camera which is fine because honestly you guys already know I post all of my workouts on YouTube pretty much I post all of my well I know I post them all on Instagram that's for sure and I post at least one workout from each body part like every month or so because I will rotate and do like a body part each week generally for you guys and uh, I try to get Eric on as much as possible so that he can essentially teach you what he's teaching me <clears throat> because it's been so valuable for me so nice rainy day today let's crack into it boys shout out to Rebel Fit I like that uh, the sour gummy combo, it's really good. To me it tastes like the red, the red gummy, the red uh, sour patch gummy. It's 
so, so good. Okay. So, so one thing with the off season that I did this time was I pushed the DECA, the EQ, and the D-ball, which is something that I haven't done since I was younger, A, because I know I'm prone to getting bloating in the face, but really it's not because of the anabolic so much, it's just my genetics, and other people probably feel like that too, with that gun and stuff like that, you'll just get the moon face. And I also get that from GH, I also get that from carbs. It is what it is. The point is, 305 pounds, 30 weeks out, and I'm in okay condition for that. If 30 weeks out, I'm in good condition. Um, and you guys know I'm, I'm always one of the most, if not the most shredded guy on stage. So for me, it's just about bringing in a bigger, package with the same conditioning to be overwhelmingly big and overwhelmingly conditioned because I'm not going to be the most aesthetic but then to try to improve my aesthetics I'm going to really try to focus on the vacuum more in the contest prep season but then for right now what I'm trying to do the most is really work on thickening up my limbs getting my shoulders bigger stuff like that also having a bigger chest and back and lats, I think that does help too. So, and, and bigger bigger quads too, right? Like that's the thing is, for me, it's, it's really about getting more muscle onto my frame in the right places, which is like, I guess most people. So that's why for me, I just, I keep doing what I'm doing. I know it's been working. And then if there's something that I notice is maybe something a little more stubborn, for example, a quad sweep or you know a bicep uh, for example like that's why I have Eric because he's going to be the guy that's going to help me put more focus into that specific area which I find is really beneficial really any trainer should be able to do that with you and you should be able to see growth in that area specifically which exactly that's exactly what's happened with Eric because we spent time trying to improve my back from 2023 to 2024 had a huge improvement in my back. And this year I feel like if we can do that for my legs, it's gonna also make a huge difference in my placing. With bigger legs, it's gonna make your waist look smaller, right? And bigger legs just looks cool. So we've been working on that, new leg days. Generally I've been doing leg days once a week and not always with Eric because I like to rotate through days, so for example, if I do an, a leg day with Eric, one week, the next week I'd want to do back, the next week I'd want to do shoulders, and rotate through those. A, so I have content to put out there that's different, B, so I can learn also different techniques, and then do them myself. Go back to Eric after maybe a, a month and a half, whatever it is, show him what I've been doing and then he can kind of put me into the next progression so that's what I've been doing okay so training wise so gear wise I was doing the DECA the D-ball and the, uh, the EQ with tests so I'm taking out the DECA and the EQ finally after about seven weeks now of being on I feel like I just don't want to feel like that anymore. Just kind of not as good. Whereas as soon as I switched over to what I'm doing now, which is 1250 test and 600 primo, I feel much better. Like the next morning, guys, I felt much better. It was kind of crazy. And one thing that's really been bothering me this off season is my sleep because I've been getting carpal tunnel so bad. So I reduced my GH from 10 down to five to six, and I still had carpal tunnel. And so I tried to cut out certain things from my diet and still having carpal tunnel. But last night I didn't. And that was like day two of being off DECA and EQ. Now the last time I used DECA and EQ, 
I also had carpal tunnel, so I don't know if those things are related exactly, but now I'm kind of getting a suspicion that they are. Um, and we'll see, because literally two days later after stopping and just doing test and primo shot, my carpal tunnel went away and I could sleep through the night. So I slept eight hours last night. That's why I actually have energy to talk today. Um, and this pre-workout is actually doing something because the last couple of weeks I plateaued on my strength. I was getting stronger because the cycle was kicking in. But then as the cycle peaked, I lost my ability to recover because my sleep was inadequate. At that point, there's no point of continuing the cycle because I'm not gonna make progress no matter what. The drugs cannot be effective if I'm not able to recover because my sleep is inadequate. So that's why I made the decision to just cut that out. And I'm gonna tell coach, I, in fact, I did message him today about that and we did our check-in and stuff and you know what in the end man honestly like dorian was right because dorian was the guy saying you don't need to take d-ball and you probably shouldn't take that guy. and i was like you know what i want to just see if i can handle it mentally and uh to be honest with you guys i felt like i was just not feeling good at all and natasia told me that i was actually this off season in one of the best positive states that i've been in the past three off seasons we've been together. So that's a good sign that my mental health is improving from uh, you know someone who's around me all the time. Objectively seeing me be more positive this off season versus other ones is a huge accomplishment because I feel like the off season is always where I struggle. A, because of my image. I don't like the way I look and my face and things like that. And also it's hard. It's hard to feel this heavy um, it's hard to train and it's hard to be, have the mobility to train when you're 305 pounds. It's hard to, uh, you know, go for long walks. It's hard to eat all the food. Regardless, it gets done because I choose to do it. It's what I want to do. And uh, I'm good at being able to do it. That's what makes me an efficient bodybuilder is that I'm able to do it even though it's hard. Man, training is not that hard because training is the fun part. So... I'm looking forward to get what you know, getting in the gym and doing what I got to do today, which is nice. So today, I want to do a push day where I'm focused on doing a little more fly movements because I did no flies last week. But at the same time, I go in there with a plan. I know what I'm going to do, but if something doesn't feel right, I'll switch the plan. So I'm planning to do two fly movements today, one on a pack deck and one on a cable. I want to do a dip and I want to do some incline pressing. So probably five movements for chest and then I'll probably end up doing either biceps or triceps just depending on at that point when I look in the mirror what I think I need more work on. So a push day really for me it's it's really about getting angles covered of the chest and then if I did more presses last chest day I'm gonna do some more flies this chest day that's just for variation and then that way I can also like rotate the tires so I'm not just doing the same movements in the same sequence every workout I want to have different sequence if I'm doing the same movements or switch out the uh, switch out the movements sometimes too right so it's a long ramble guys I'm gonna I'm probably gonna not go on too much longer because otherwise it's gonna be a 20 minute video of me sitting in my car we're at the gym now <sighs> crush the pre-workout let's get after it boys One good thing to remember is that if you're facing a challenge right now, you can be sure that there is a positive state that is going to come at the end of that challenge when you when you um, when you accomplish overcoming it. So remember that you're being faced with a challenge now 
because God, the universe, or even your subconscious knows that you can handle it. It also knows that you're going to grow as an organism because of the fact that you overcame the challenge. You can also look at it this way. If you were not faced with any challenge at all in your life, you would not adapt to anything, therefore you would not grow, you'd get bored, and you would die. And that's pretty much it. So remember, if you're faced with a challenge right now, it means you're still living. So, let's go get it guys. Let's get a great pump. And I'll probably see you guys either back in the car or back in the kitchen once we're done with this one. Let's go. All right, we're back from the gym. Really good chest day today, it was really fun. And I'm starving now, so let's get into the post-workout meal. All right, so right here, I've got 70 grams of isolation, whey isolate. Then I've got 140 grams of cream of rice, 15 grams of almond butter, 100 grams of banana in there as well. And then I take my HGH, three IUs of HGH, I take six IUs of a fast acting insulin, and I take 500 micrograms of BPC-157 and TB-500. So that's from Biolabs, so go check it out. You can use code STRONG to save some money. And this stuff is awesome, really gonna help me with my recovery. So let's get into this meal, guys. Meal three. We gotta throw those pumpkins out. Sorry. <laughs> they're so nice, though. But they're so old, though. Yeah. Let's see. That was fun, though. But yours looks better on the side. It looks cool, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Remember what we did with the, with the pumpkin last time we did the pumpkin? I, I threw it, like, into the ravine. Okay, but don't do that this time. Why does it what matter? It's organic. It's just gonna, they're just going to eat the seeds and stuff, and everybody's going to be getting fertilized soil. Fertilized soil. So anyways, we got the meal three going down with 500 grams of rice, the sushi rice, and then I've got eight ounces of chicken. Leela heard food. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> eight ounces of chicken and 15 grams of olive oil from Greece. Oh, okay. I thought you weren't eating the chicken. I'm not having as much poultry as usual, once in a while. But I put the pesto on it, so it's going to taste really good. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we're going to go run some errands. Run some errands. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Okay. 400 grams of rice. We've got our 9 ounces of fish. Some various veggies. I've also got some franks on there. 15 grams of olive oil. And then my buddy, he made some hot sauce. This stuff is really strong. Just put a little bit of that on there because it tastes really good. Shout out to Quinn. This stuff is awesome. Get it. Come here. Come here, Leila. Eddie? Eddie? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hey, go get it. Go get it. Hey, hey, hey. Good girl. Find the sweet. Good girl. Come here. Eddie? 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 Ready? Go, 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 go. Go get it. No. Hi. And she smells your sweat. She's sniffing in there. What's going on here? It's a disaster. Don't show it. I just did some cardio. Look, I'm soaked. Also, get changed and take a shower. Clean this kitchen. Take the other for a walk. And I got. One more meal after that too. This is 500 grams of cooked potatoes in the air fryer. I've got nine grams of extra lean ground beef. And then I've also got some spinach on there. And of course this is a sugar-free ketchup kind of meal. And then what I'm gonna do right now is probably fire up some League of Legends because I can't play COD right now because <laughs> this laptop can't run it. So let's lock in. And comment below what games are you playing. If you guys play League of Legends, comment below what your main is. Okay, last meal of the day. 
6 going down right now so I'm gonna show you guys what that is so I've got 100 grams here of that cream of rice cereal the apple cinnamon so good I love it 100 grams of pineapples I just think pineapples are really good for you and then I've got 15 grams of almond butter 8 ounces of salmon and then I've got my GH four I use of that for bed and then I'm also using this supplement right here really like this one anesthetized by Blackstone Labs I like the label like how it's shiny and I also like how there's GABA in there and there's uh, Fenibut as well Fenibut is really good it'll really knock you out and it can also be really good for reducing anxiety as well so I'm just gonna go watch some TV get this meal down take my growth so I can go to bed and grow and don't forget guys healthy people build more muscle